So let's have the reproductive system. Okay, so the reproductive system, this involves the gonads. That's a primary sex organ. So this involves kung sa lalaki is the testis. Kung sa babae is the ovaries. Okay? So these gonads are the ones responsible for producing gametes or your sex cells. Okay? And they also, the gonads also secret some hormones. And we, we have already learned that one in your endocrine system. Okay? So when we say gametes, ang sa lalaki, they produce the, the sperm. Okay? Ang sa babae, they produce the ova or the ovum. Okay, we seldom use the word eggs. Hindi talaga tayo gumagat na eggs. It's more of the ova or the ovum. We all know that uh, uh, anatomically, we, we use the term ova or ovum. Okay, for the female gametes. Okay, yan yung ano natin. So, let's have the male first. The male reproductive system. Okay? What is involved in here? You have the testis, of course. That's the male gonads. Natin. And then, the ductal system. Epididinis, your ductus deferens, or the vas deferens, and the urethra. Although urethra was mentioned in the urinary system, so, ito yung mga parts of the ductal system, ducts ng mga ano. And then, today we also be discussing about the seminal vesicles, the prostate gland, and the vulvo-urethral gland, or your corpus, which is part of the accessory structure. Be very accessory because they, they, put the, they, they contribute to the formation of the semen. Okay? And so, external genitalia, what you can see outside from the male, is just the penis and the scrotum. Okay? Okay, so may itlog din sinasabi ng no, scrotum. So this that the, the sac is the scrotum, but the itlog is sinasabi sa lalaki is inside. Nasa loob ng, ng pouch na yun. So the pouch is the scrotum. Okay, so what you can see also is the penis and the scrotum. So we have to discuss this one separately because um, male reproductive system is totally different from that of a female. Magkaibang magkaiba talaga sila. Okay, so we have been here the... the lateral view of your reproductive system. So, ito lang siya, pero nasali si ureter is because the, uh, the, the, ureter, the, ureter, the ureter, dahil nagiging, uh, nag, nag, they, they also play an important role in your, in the reproductive system. They, but normally, dapat si ureter is part of the, part of the urinary system. Pero sa lalaki, nagiging part din siya ng, ng reproductive. So, ito yung bone structures na. Okay, we have the seminal vesicle behind and then we have in here, your your prostate no okay and then the bulbo urethral gland nandito sa baba pag yun and then you have the testis or uh epididymis and then your vas deferens ito yung the penis no and then the outside is the sac what you can see outside okay so let's talk about the testis first testis okay the testis okay that's the covering of uh covering niya is to known as your tunica albuginea okay that is the capsule that surrounds each testis okay so Yung testis natin, ito yung testis natin, uh, they are actually about the size of a golf ball. So, golf ball siya, uh, that's 4 cm, no? Or 1.5 inches long. Okay? And the width is about 2.5 to about, or 1 inch ang, ang width niya. So, long, dito, 4, mga 4 cm, okay? 1.5 and then 1. So, and they weigh about 10 to 15 grams ang ano nito. Okay, or in onsets, that's 0.35 to 0.53. Okay. How thick? Mga one inch din. Kasi nga parang golf ball natin. Okay, so what holds them in the trunk or connects them to the trunk is through the spermatic cord. So the testes uh, hang within the, the scrotum. They, they hang, so ito yung pouch sa labas, ito yung may pouch that's in the scrotum. Okay, so your tunica albuginea is the surrounding, yung balot niya, okay, that is, uh, that traps your, your, your testis that is uh, composed of your dense fibrous tissue. Okay, so septum, septa extensions of capsule that extends into the testis and divide into lobules. Ito, parang, parang yung cortex kanina sa, ano, yung, ano niya, meron siya extension, kaya nagkaroon ng division. Yeah, they, they, uh, in, in, uh, ang result nitong extensions because of the presence of the septum, ito mga divisions nito, nagkaroon ka ng lobes. Okay? These are the lobules in here. Okay? So, your tunica albuginea is extended para mag-form siya ng septum, actually. So, yun yung mga compartments natin. Uh, looking at each, each, uh, each test is there are about 250 no, lobules. And these lobules are wedge-shaped, parang triangular siya. Nakita ko malapad siya sa may... Uh, sa may uh, lateral aspect, you know. 
okay, sa outer aspect niya. Pero sa inner aspect, it's mas mas pointed siya. Parang, so, para din siyang pyramid. So, wedge shape siya. Taka ba? Okay? So, your testis, each lobule, each yung bawat yung parang uh, yung wedge shape na yun, okay, contains seminiferous tubules. Okay? These seminiferous tubules are tightly coiled structures. This is where the sperm is being created or formed, no? They empty the sperm into the reti testis, which is the next structure. Ito, itong reti, ito dito sa ito. This is the reti testis natin. Okay, so they enter that, uh, they, they, they deliver it into the reti testis, yung mga sperm na gibuo nila. And then the sperm travel through the reti testis down to your epididymis, okay? So, sinabi natin kanina, doon sa gonads sa intro natin, that the gonads does not only produce the gametes, but they also produce hormones. So, uh, the hormones that they produce is your testosterone. They produce the androgen known as your testosterone. Okay, so your seminiferous tubules actually is a, is a long structure also. Tube kasi siya. So, it's about 80 centimeters long or about 32 inches in length. Okay? So, Typically speaking, kung titignan mo siya, each uh, testis would contain about half a mile of your seminiferous tubules. So ladies, if you want to play longest line, do not ever dare to play with your the males because they have so many long structures in their body. Ito pa lang, sabi ko, sabi ko nga, the typical uh, testis contains about half a mile. So talo na kayo sa longest line doon. I-stretch out nila yun. Kasi mga, mga kumpul-kumpul siya eh. So, when you stretch out, mahaba pala siya. Okay? Your interstitial cell that produces your testosterone is also known as the Leydig. Leydig, L-E-Y-D-I-G. Leydig cells. Okay? So, yan yung, yan yung magiging, magiging flow na. So, again, uh, nabuo natin, they will form in the seminiferous tubules. Okay? And then, pupunta sa reti testis, then to the epididymis, then to the basketines, then out to to your urethra and out for ejaculation, okay? But uh, there is also another cell. We have the interstitial cell and we have also your uh, interstitial cell or the leading cell, but there's another cell that is uh, important in here. We have the Sertoli cell or your sustentacular cell. Sertoli, Sister Gituli, S-E-R, Toli, okay? Sister, Sister Gito, Sertoli cell or your sustentacular cell. That is responsible to provide support to the uh, developing sperm. Why? Because they provide the nourishment sa developing sperm. Okay? So, it's the, the nourishment from the, the sperm that's being produced is provided by the but by the cells also of your testes, which is also known as your sustentacular cells or your uh, Leydig cells. Okay, so the next structure. Okay, this, this is the first part of your uh, the first part of your ductal system, the ducts, okay, yung tubo, tadag, pinag natin. We have the first uh, part, which is the epididymis. The epididymis, that's the first part. Uh, it is a uh, comma shape and also a tightly coiled tube. Okay? That's about 6 meters or 20 feet long. And that's located posterior to the testis. They are found at the superior part of testis and along the posterior lateral side. So that's a the location. They unfashion ito. They are the ones that will mature and store the sperm. The maturity would take about 20 days. Okay? So, maturation would take about 20 days. So, galing doon sa retitestis, so from the lobules, seminiferous tubules, and then ilalagay niya doon sa retitestis, and itatapon nito sa, sa epididyme. Kasi tatambay mo doon, o sige, pa, ipapamature kita doon. That, uh, stay there for 20 days. Okay? So, at least 20 days for maturation. Okay? And then during ejaculation, yung mature na sperm na ang ilalabas natin. They will be propelled to the next part, then out. Okay? Through the duct. Ano. So the, they, will sperm, uh, the, uh, they will expel the sperm with the contraction of the muscles. And the epididymis was down to your vas deferens or your ductus deferens. Okay? So the ductus deferens or the vas deferens, they carry the sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct. Okay? And they pass through the inguinal canal, canal and over the bladder. Okay, so they move the sperm by peristalsis. And uh, we have in here the different uh, spermatic cord that is uh, a support your ductus deferens, the blood vessels, and nerves in the uh, connecting tissue sheet. 
Okay? So, Vas de Perez, we need to uh, talk about the Vas de Perez. Sikat ito siya sa mga lalaki, lalo na sa mga when you talk about fertility. Bakit? Kasi ito yung pinuputol na, na portion. Your vas de pere is about 40 to 45 centimeters long. Or that's around 18 to, uh, 16 to 18 inches. No? Ang haba niya. Ano ang role nito? Wala. Passageway lang siya. Daanan lang siya. And then they pass to the inguinal canal. Or your, that's actually, meron siyang may canal doon, may, may butas doon sa abdominal muscle para doon makadaan si vas uh, si de pere. No? Okay, so... That is, and then pa, paikot siya sa bladder and then papunta sa may harapan banda then lalabas doon sa, uh, pupunta sa, papunta sa base ng, sa base ng ating, ng ating, uh, people this base ng, uh, ng, ure, ng blood, urinary bladder, okay? And enters into the urethra. Okay, so, the bus de Perez, they, they are capable of storing the, the sperm up to months. Okay? And during that period, the spermatozoa, actually, uh, na haba na castor siya doon, they are inactive. They're inactive. Pareha ko sa mga army na nasa gera. Kapag nasa kampo lang sila, they're not active. Eh, Tulog-tulog. Eh, they are inactive. And they have low metabolic rate. But eventually, once they are being propelled out, just the time they start to, start to become active. Okay? So, yan yung ating ano. Yung dulo ng duct de perez niyan, they connect with your seminal vesicle through the, that ejaculatory duct. Okay? So that's how, that's how they connect with the, the next uh, part of your anatomy. So your, that, that's to say, ang dulo nito is connected to ejaculatory duct. Okay? And the ejaculatory duct will connect with the urethra. Okay? So ito yung sinasabi kong uh, po, uh, uh, procedure wherein the duct, the tus de peres are being cut. Okay, at the level of the testis, sa may testis sila gina-approach, so don't, you don't need any an incision okay, to prevent the transportation of sperm. Mga ano mangyari doon sa pagpinutol mo siya? So pagpinutol, wala nang daanan. So when you say bus, it's referring to the bus in here, deference. Ectomy means removal. Ectomy, so puputulan nila babawasan. So it's like a road, you try to cut the bridge there, so wala ka nang daanan, hindi ka makakalusot. So ganun ang gagawin, it's either they tie it or they cut it, okay, but they usually cut that one. Okay, so this is to to ano to stop the uh, uh, fertility no ng ano so that will make the the person infertile. Now, ang mangyayari dito, mam ano mangyayari dun sa, sa sperm na na na-form? They'll be acted upon by the body. So, wala ma-reabsorb lang din siya, ma mawawala sa mamamatay lang din sila. So, that's when but the thing in here after the vasectomy, we don't actually consider you uh, the person uh sterile, yung hindi na siya nakakabuntis. Because remember, the tube contains sperm. So we have to wait for at least several ejaculations para nakiklear out lahat yung natitira doon mga sperm bago ka maka-insure na hindi na ito siya makakabuntis. Kaya careful pa rin after immediately after vasectomy because uh, because it's a tube ma meron siyang meron siyang naka-store doon ng mga ano. Kapag yung portion na hindi na natanggal na, na pumasok sa bayan, makakabuntis pa rin siya. Okay, but eventually yung mga hindi pa nakakadaan doon yung mga harang they will be they will be dissolved and they will be uh ano uh mawawala ali siya sa system ng absorption okay they will be acted upon by the body okay the urethra okay that's the, the the last part of your ductal system they extend from the base of the urinary bladder to the tip of the penis they carry both they carry both the urine and the sperm they carry both but not at the same time kasi baka magkaroon kay ma'am during sexual intercourse ba ma'am uh, makaihi bang lalaki? No. One at a time. They only serve one master at a time. So, hindi pwede pagsabay sa two masters at a time. So, kung ihi-ihi lang, kung sperm-sperm lang. So, walang, walang hindi pwede pagsabay yung dalawa. Okay? So, the sperm enters the ejaculatory duct in this case. Uh, through the ejaculatory duct, papasok sa urethra. Okay? So, the urethra has different divisions. We have the, kaya nga mahaba siya, about 8 centimeters long. We have the prostatic urethra, the membranous urethra, and your spongy urethra. Ano to? Kasi sa sobrang haba niya, balikan ko yung picture natin. Okay, here is the, ano, here is the urethra. From this point up to hanggang sa tip, that's the urinary meatus. So, that's the urethra. So, we have in here prostate, and then we have in here the penis. Okay? So, so, yan yung structure natin. So, balikan natin yung 
So yung prostatic urethra, yung portion ng urethra kung saan napalibutan siya ng prostate is known as the prostatic urethra. And then yung yung portion ng yung portion ng urethra na makita mo sa length ng sa kahaba ng penis ng lalaki, that's the spongy urethra or the penile urethra. Okay? Why the spongy urethra because it passes to the corpus cover uh, spon uh, uh, corpus spongiosum of your uh, the tube of your your urethra and then it terminates into the into the distal end, uh, which is the the uh, yung bloated portion niya, known as the glass penis, and then the urinary meatus. So they run along the length of the penis. Yung middle portion na hindi natin na mention is the membranous urethra. That's from the, uh, from the end of your prostatic urethra the, up to the portion of before the penis. So yun yung membranous urethra. So tatlong portion siya. Kaya mahaba siya. Okay, so these are the regions of the urethra. Okay, so let's talk about accessory structures. There are about uh, three accessory structures, tatlo. So this is your seminal vesicle, your prostate, and your uh, bulbo-urethral gland. Okay, so uh, looking at this one, only 5% of the volume of the semen comes from the seminiferous tubules. The rest of which, the seminiferous tubules are the ones that forms the 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 sperm so uh five percent na yung galing sa seminiferous tubules so the rest are coming from the uh accessory structure which is the uh, seminal vesicle your prostate and your bulbo urethral gland so yun yung nagakompose ng semen na lumalabas sa ano so majority of which is galing sa accessory structures niyan okay so what is the function of these accessory structures they are the ones responsible for activation of the sperm Okay, they also provide the nutrients para sa sperm na to, para magiging more motile sila. Okay? And they also generate uh, uh, contractions, uh, peristaltic contractions para ma-propel ang sperm at saka fluid. And they also provide buffer okay, that will counteract the acidity of the female uh, genitalia. No? Okay, so yun ang ano natin. So your, your seminal vesicle Okay, seminal vesicle is the first part, first accessory structure that is located at the base of the bladder. Okay, this is about mga size of the finger. That's about six to seven centimeters, six to seven centimeters in size, in terms of size. And uh, ang body niya is actually coiled and compact in here. Okay, so... The, they produce a uh, thick yellowish secretions that uh so they they provide 60% of the volume of the semen. So sila ang major sponsor of semen. So we say semen, the major donor is seminal vesicle. So siya si major donor. So it has sugar. Meron siyang sugar. Ang sugar nandoon is the fructose. Okay? So that they are the ones the fructose they provide the energy because the fructose is highly metabolized by the sperm. Okay, they also contain vitamin C and they also contain prostaglandins and other substances that nourish and activate the sperm. Okay, so we have in here um uh, yung prostaglandin at saka fibrinogen dito uh responsible for forming the clot, no? After ejaculation at the vagina. So kung titingnan mo parang paglabas niya parang malablaw ang semen but eventually they start to become malagkit no because of this these structures uh, this these substances no yung ating uh, prostaglandin and uh, and your uh, fibrinogens in you okay so when your uh, secretions coming from the seminal vesicle uh, mix with the secretions in the seminiferous seminiferous tubules so yun yung sperm natin okay it is going to make your your sperm kasi Ano pa siya, di ba? Luya-luya pa sila sa kampo pa sila. Pero pag once nahaluan sila ng seminal vesicle, yung galing doon yung mga sperm natin na nanggalan sa seminal, seminiferous tubules, the sperm, the inactive sperm, will begin to uh, start moving their flagella, yung tails nila. Okay? So that means to say, that will make them highly motile. So pag nag-mix na sila, para sila nakakuha ng energy drink no makakuha sa seminal vesicle mag magiging active sila so they start moving their their tails so that they can already propel well and then they can travel well okay highly motile na sila the next uh, the next accessory structure is the prostate gland 
the prostate gland encircles the upper part of the urethra. The, the prostate gland secretes a milky fluid which helps to activate the sperm. They enter the urethra through several small ducts. So, big sabi, marami siya maliit-liit na mano kasi palibot doon, palibot doon, pagka nakapalibot siya sa urethra, may siya maliit-liit na tayo na they could hardly detect it. Uh, very tiny, para doon niya nilalabas yung esikresos niya, then pinapadaan sa urethra because they are just, they are the, the, the structures around your urethra. Kaya kung titignan mo, some books would say para siyang, uh, para siyang donut is because the urethra is in between them. Okay? That's a small muscular uh, organ that's about 4 centimeters, no? Or 1.6 inch in diameter. And they, this prostate gland lies next to the rectum. That is why if you want, the doctor would want to examine the prostate gland, they will do digital rectal examination. Ano yun, ma'am? Ipapasok yung digits niya, yung daliri ng doktor, and then to the rectum, and then try to palpate the prostate so that they can assess the prostate. Okay? So that's how they assess the prostate. Okay? So your, the fluid coming from your, from the prostate is actually slightly acidic. So they will, uh, they actually contribute. So prostate is about the second major donor. Kung si seminal vesicle is 60% ang binibigyan niya sa semen, ito 20 to 30% comes from, of the semen comes from your prostate gland. Meron siyang ginasikit na seminal plasmin. One word yan sa seminal plasmin. And that is actually an antibiotic. This antibiotic is a... Uh, Protective in nature. Why? Because they they protect the the men in uh in forming in becoming in uh, in forming UTI. But eventually, pero pa rin magka UTI yung mga lalaki. Okay, so so yung seminal plasmin is the the one that is that the prostate secretes para protection against UTI. Okay, so we have this what we call dahil dahil nakapalibot siya doon sa urethra ng na ng 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 lalaki. That's the first part of the urethra. Uh, inflammation of this prostate, known as the prostatitis. So if you have the word I-T-I-S at the end, so prostate, drop the letter E in here, and then change with I-T-I-S, so that means prostatitis. So inflammation siya. Bakit siya nag-inflame? For whatever reason, maybe nag naglaki siya is because of overgrowth, like in the case of your, in the case of your uh, benign prostatic hypertrophy. So hyper, hypertrophy means nag Nag, nag enlarge siya, lumaki siya. So what in happen? The ureter is constricted, and that becomes a potential problem. That leads to a problem in the the urinary tract, leading to your obstruction. Kaya makakita mo, and that is that is a uh, one factor that one important thing that you need to assess yourself, mga lalaki, when you start to reach when you already reach the age of forty, because this is this commonly happens at starting at the age of forty. Your your be patient that uh, you are rather your uh, prostatic enlargement. That's why it is always important to have it assessed by the doctor uh, to determine whether it's just a benign growth or a cancerous growth. Okay, so so that means to say, important siya because the the consequence of which, uh, kung cancer siya, of course you know the consequence of cancer. Pero kung benign lang siya, hindi naman siya cancerous. Ang consequence naman is more of the urinary issues. Why? Because it will obstruct the flow of urine, and probably you will end up having it you're having a kidney problem or kidney damage, kidney failure because of that, okay? So the last one is your bulbourethral gland, okay? Bulbourethral gland or known as the Cowper's gland, okay? So also known as the Cowper's gland. That is spherical uh, structure and pea-sized gland that's inferior. Sa baba pa siya ng prostate, okay? Yung maliit na pinakita natin kayo na sa baba. Lower pa siya prostate, sa mas baba pa rin siya. Okay, that's around 0.5 inch, okay, in the in terms of diameter. Okay, they secrete alkaline, alkaline, alkaline uh, fluid, no, alkaline, alkaline mucus. It's a, they produce a thick, clear mucus, which is alkaline in nature, okay, because it, uh, the role of which is to cleanse the urethra of the acidic urine, and they serve as a lubricant during sexual intercourse, and they are secreted into the penal urethra, okay, so. Pag nilalabas mo siya doon, kailangan yung 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 ano, yung uh, yung tawag niyan, yung yung urethra na dadaanan kasi may ihi na dumaan doon, acidic siya. So, kailangan niyang i-coat muna, pagbalutin niya ng 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 basic na na mucus para pagdaan ng urethra because the uh, the penis, uh, sorry, penis pagdaan ng ng sperm, hindi siya mamamatay because they can survive an acidic environment. 
Okay? So, yun siya. At the same time, they serve as a lubricant. Kaya makit, napansin niyo yung mga during ejaculation, hindi meron merong unang mga secretions na lumalabas na mga ano. Because they also serve as a lubricant during sexual intercourse. Hindi kaagad yung seven na ano. Meron siyang, uh, uh, meron siyang mga mucous secretions na lumalabas prior to really ejaculation. So, that's, that, that is uh, actually coming from the bulbo-urethral gland or your prostate gland. Okay? So, we have in here the three accessory structures, seminal vesicle, your prostate, and your bulbo-urethral gland or your known as your, also known as your calcoris gland. Okay? So, ano yung ginaproduce nila? Semen. So, galing sa three accessory plus the seminiferous tubules, you have the semen there. So, the semen in here is a mixture of sperm and the accessory gland secretion. So, apat ang sponsor natin dito. Apat. Sabi ko nga, 5% lang si, si seminiferous tubules, the rest 95% nang galing dun sa accessory structure. Okay? So, advantages of accessory gland secretion. Okay? They pro, uh, the fructose provides energy for sperm cell. The alkalinity of the semen helps neutralize the acidic environment of the vagina. Semen inhibits uh, bacterial in multiplication. And elements of semen enhance the sperm motility. So we have been here. Uh, take note that the female vagina is actually acidic because it has a pH of about, about 3.5 to 4. Okay? And then the pH naman, uh, ng semen is about mga 7.2 okay, to 7.6 ang, ang pH ng semen. So that means to say they're going to they will help in the neutralization they will neutralize the acid in the vagina. Kasi kapag acidic ang environment mamamatay si sperm at the same but before they die they become sluggish in movement mabagal ang movement nila. Okay? So how acidic is the environment that will make the sperm slow in movement sluggish. So if they have a pH of below 6 yan sluggish, mabagal na silang kumilos na. Kaya, kaya kailangan talaga ma-neutralize. That's why yung, yung initial secretions coming from the bulbo urethral gland also help uh, neutralize the acidic environment of the vagina also. Okay? So, per ejaculation, okay, there are about 2.5 ml of semen and they produce about, about 50 to 115 million per ml. So, yung buong semen nag-ejaculate mga 2 to 5 ml. So, isang teaspoon, isang kutsarita. Okay? Pero, per ml of that, nagaproduce siya ng 50 to 150 million of sperm. I don't know how they counted it. Hindi ko alam para binilang. They would range from 50 to 150 ml. Uh, per ml, ha? So, kung may 5 ml ka, i-multiply mo ko sa 150 times 5. Ganun karami yung sperm na produce. Okay? So, yan yung ating, yan yung uh, form natin. Meron tayong seminal uh, plus mean, yung sabi natin kanina, that is an antibiotic that will kill uh, a variety of your uh, bacteria, no? Okay? So, importante siya para ma ma ma, ano, ma maintain ang ang life ng ating mga ma-prevent din siya sinasabi natin uh, mga bacteria doon para ma hindi ma-alter ang mga functions at mga mga functions ng bawat mga uh, structures na involved in here. Okay? So, that is for your semen. So, let's talk about the, what you can see outside. What you can see outside is a scrot scrotum and the penis. So, the scrotum is a sac. Ilang scrotum meron ang lalaki? You only have one. That looks like two. Bakit siya parang two tingnan? Kasi meron siyang median, may line sa gitna. We call that line the median rafe. So, that, that line makes it look like two. But actually, isa lang siya. Pero meron siyang septum sa loob. Internally, may septum siya. That separates them. So, parang may dalawang, may dalawa siyang uh, compartment nandoon. So, that is a uh, divided the sac of skin outside of the abdomen. Okay? So, uh, the, the scrotum maintains test is at 3 degrees sa Celsius lower than the normal body temperature. Why? Because sobrang init, mamamatay si sperm. So they have to protect the sperm viability uh, by keeping it in a lower than the body temperature. So this is suspended at the perineal area of the male. Okay? It has, sabi nga, two chambers that houses the testes. Two chambers, two compartments so that houses the, the or scrotal cavities that houses this one. So 
what is responsible for the wrinkled appearance of your scrotum? Kung, kung tinitinan mo nga siya parang yung elbow ninyo, if you extend your arms, hawakan yung elbow. Ganun daw yung uh, yung feeling ng scrotum para sa mga babae hindi yung para kahawak ng scrotum, hawakan niyo yung ano, hawakan niyo yung siko ninyo. Yan daw yung feeling ng scrotum. Okay? So, what is responsible for the uh, wrinkled appearance of the scrotum? It is because of the darkos muscle. Okay, so the darkest muscle, the darkest muscle contracts, and that will give your scrotum a characteristic wrinkled appearance. Yun yung on. Okay, how about the cream muscle muscle? Ano naman yung role ni cream muscle muscle? Magkaiba sila. Si cream muscle muscle, ito yung naga naga hila sa sa testis natin o naga contract sa sa scrotum para maghila sa paakyat close to the body. Okay, so when the temperature is ma init. Environment at temperatures mainit. So, mas mainit si katawan natin. Ang tendency ng scrotum, mulaylay na siya. Stay away from the source of heat. Kasi kung mag-init pa environment niya, magdikit pa siya doon sa, sa ano, magdikit pa siya doon sa, sa katawan ng, ano, ano sa, uh, katawan ng, sa inner portion ng katawan natin, ng so marapit sa core temperature natin, mas lalo siyang mainit. So, masisira si sperm doon. So, kailangan niyang magluya 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 na siya so para malayo siya doon kapag malamig naman si panahon purugo na siya hindi din maganda sa kanya malamig na temperature so kukuha siya ng init magko-contract siya aakyat siya doon sa didikit siya sa katawan para to get more heat okay so to get more heat so that's how they are being uh, that's how they maintain the temperature in order to protect the sperm via the okay how about the penis The penis delivers sperm into the female reproductive tract. So this is the main organ of copulation. When I say copulation, main organ for sexual intercourse. Copulation, main organ for coitus, coitus is sexual intercourse. So this is the main organ. This is match. This is equivalent to the vagina in the female. So you know matching organs ng babae at alalaki, penis and the vagina. Okay. So it has regions. That's the shaft, the glands, penis, the enlarged portion. Yung sa dulo kung sinasabi pa nila yung helmet, kung sa layman's term, that's a large tip. And then, mayroon siyang balak na nakabalot doon. It's known as the foreskin. Okay? So, it is a folded cuff of skin that are uh, around the proximal end. So, they are usually removed during circumcision. Some, hindi naman nire-remove totally. Kinakat lang siya para mag-retract siya ganoon. Kasi actually, uh, that, that would depend on the There are still a lot of adults no, na hindi pa sila circumcised because they they don't see any, ano, uh, 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 reason for it, but the Filipinos mostly are circumcised because of hygiene practice. Kasi because of that, because of the uh, it has a skin, so para siya may pouch sa gilid, sa palibot, nakapala, ito yung ulo nakabalot siya ganun. So para siya may pouch, that's where the secretions coming from the male genitalia would come out. And we call that secretions the smegma. Okay? Sa sa bisaya pa na siya, butik-tik, mas yung tawag niyo anas bisaya. So that's the smegma. So yan yung, yan yung mga secretions na sa lalaki. So They, sometimes, siyempre, dahil nakatago siya sa ilalim, pag hindi nalis na maayos, that causes an odor. That's why they would prefer to have themselves circumcised for, for hygienic reasons. Okay? So, yan yung mga ano natin. So, the root of the penis, actually, that uh, attaches the penis the body wall. So, yan siya. So, these are the parts of your regions of the penis. Okay? Internally, there are three areas of spongy erectile tissue around them. So, if we try to cut the penis, we cross cut that. It, makita ko tatlong tubo, may tatlong cylinder doon, may tatlong cylinder then nakabalos yun into one. They 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 combine as one. So tatlong tubo siya. So we have three cylinders there inside the shaft of the penis. So dalawa ang corpus cavernosum, kay corpora cavernosa, o at kay isang mas payat na corpus spongiosum, kay corpus spongiosum. So your corpus spongiosum is the part that is directly connected to the uh, that is where the urethra is penetrating. Okay, doon naka doon nakatusok si urethra. And then ang dulo niyan is bloated and yun ang form ng helmet na sinasabi natin, glans penis. Okay, lamus term is the helmet. So yung dulo ng yung corpus spongiosum is known as your uh, glans penis. Kaya uh, dilated siya na portion. Kaya sinasabi natin, spongy urethra is because the, the, the urethra runs through the corpus cavernosum, uh, sorry, corpus spongiosum of your, the penis. Okay? So, during the resting state, resting state natin, konti lang ang dugo na nandoon. Resting state, ha? Konti lang ang dugo doon. Bakit? Kasi yung, yung arterial branch supplying the penis 
are constricted. Okay? Okay? And during your parasympathetic stimulation, okay, the neurons is going to release a, a nitric oxide. Nitric oxide that causes the arteries to dilate. So yung constricted na arteries, mag-open siya. So the blood will start to flow into that area. So kapag nag-flow ang blood, that's when they start to dilate and that will cause distension. Kaya ang effect ng erection. So it's the cause, uh, that's why during erection, you would notice even the color is darker. It's because of the presence of the uh, more blood supply going to that area. But eventually, once it, it, it drains out, it, it starts to uh, reduce again in, in terms of size. So it's the erection, it's the blood supply that causes the erection of the face. Okay. Spermatogenesis. So spermatogenesis, we're talking about the sperm. Genesis means uh, formation. So di ba sa Bible, Genesis is creation. Okay? So this is the production of the sperm cell. They begin at puberty and they continue. So puberty, that is uh, mga mag-start kayo magiging mag adolescence And they continue throughout life. They occur in the seminiferous tubules, spermatogenesis. Sabi, that's, that's where, that's the sperm uh, forming factory natin. Okay? So, uh, the process begins with your spermatogonia. Your spermatogonia are the stem cells or your primitive cells natin. Okay? So, they will undergo mitosis. And be but before puberty, okay, what is produced is just the stem, stem cells. But eventually, kapag nag-puberty na, with the presence of your mga hormones, hormones there, so for the development of secondary sex characteristic, they become mature. They start to mature, and then, uh, yeah, na. So they will, they will uh, start. That's the time you can, you can already impregnate a woman, okay? But eventually, before that, wala because the, the secretions are just, are just uh, are the, the sperm form are just very uh, are, are are just the stem cells, okay? So the process of spermatogenesis, first spermatogonia, stem cells undergo a rapid a rapid mitosis. Rapid, uh, the word rapid mitosis. So, marami na puproduce. Para marami na puproduce before pa sa puberty. Okay? Then, uh, again, just like uh, your, your antipodotary gland, it produces your, your follicle stimulating hormone that will modify your spermatogonia division. Okay? Spermatogonia division. So, one cell produced is a stem cell and the other produced becomes a spermatocyte. Spermatocyte is the mature sperm cell. So, immature is your uh, stem cell is the spermatogonia. Pag mature na sila, spermatocyte ng tawag sa nila. So, uh, dalawa si ba, dalawa daughter siya na perform. Yung isa, balik siya as a stem cell. Yung isa, magiging sperm, isa yung nagmamature to spermatogonia. So, that's why, uh, when you say rapid production, rapid siya, they, are, they produce about a million, okay, daily. Ganong kabilis ang production. Okay, a million daily. So the process of spermatogenesis. So we have that will start with your prime, uh, primary spermatocytes undergo meiosis, and then the, they are going to form the haploid spermatids. Okay. So in this process, the first one will be mitosis, and the second uh, mitosis, dalawang daughter cells, and then yung isa non magiging stem cell, yung isa yun yung magma mature. Yung isa na na nagma ma, due for bound to mat. Uh, to become a mature one. So, yan sila, uh, they will produce, they will undergo the process of meiosis twice and they will be producing uh, uh, haploids natin, okay? So, mga, they will going to produce mga spermatids, haploid spermatids, okay? When we say meiosis, that is actually division of the nucleus, okay? The, but this happens twice. Kaya, mam bakit apat? Apat na haploid kasi dalawang beses ang process of meiosis. Kaya nagiging apat na haploid gametes ang napuputus natin. Then after that, it will undergo the process of your spermiogenesis. Spermiogenesis, in which we're in the sperm, which is non-motile, kasi marami siyang extra baggage, may marami siyang cytoplasm pa, maghuhubad na siya ng cytoplasm para i-reveal niya yung true self niya, yung kanyang kaseksihan na sperm, and then uh, that becomes, then they will become the mature sperm. We'll look at that at the picture later on. So spermato, spermiogenesis, 
the late spermatids are produced with distinct regions. Ito na yung, ano, sabi ko maghubad na siya ng, ng cytoplasm niya, i-lay off na yun. And so what will be left is just the head, the mid, the mid piece, and the tail. So the head contains your, your DNA that is covered by the helmet, and helmet is known as the acrosome. Okay? They, so when we say uh, the head, they have, since they contain the DNA, then that to say they have there the nucleus. Okay? That is we are filled with a densely packed chromosomes, no? Kasi maliit man siya masyado. So, yung cover niya, na, na helmet niya, known as the acrosome, ano yun siya? Yung acrosome, meron siyang enzyme. Anong role itong enzyme? Yung enzyme na yun, yun ang ginagamit nila, uh, acrosome is the enzyme that they use para once they meet the, the ovum, yung egg cell, kasi yung egg cell, meron siyang mga tusok-tusok. So, meron siya, it's like, uh, your house having a fence na may tusok-tusok, hindi siya basta nakakapasok. So, your acrosome uh, is the enzyme that will uh, dissolve that corona radiata, radiata of your ovum. So, yan yung, that, that makes them uh, capable for fertilization so that they can penetrate into the ovum and they start to, to fertilize that ovum. Okay? And then, the middle piece naman siya. The middle piece naman, in the mid piece, uh, contains, uh, uh, it contains the mitochondria. And the mitochondria is arranged in a spiral. So, makita mo dito sa picture, may spiral pala itsura niya. Kasi, and the, the mitochondria, we all know, the, the, is the one that provides the ATP. Para may energy si, si, si sperm na mag-move ng kanyang tail, makapropel, and they can travel well. How about the tail? So, tail is an example of... Uh, this is the only cell, uh, example of human cell that has flagella. Para siyang tadpole, actually, in general, if you try to look at the, the sperm. Okay, it looks like a tadpole. So, this enables, uh, the tail enables the sperm to move from one place to another. So, yan yung role ng ating sperm natin. Ah, ng, 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 ng ating flagella or the tail. So, we use the, the term tagellum or flagella for the tail, okay? So, your, your uh, sperm actually lacks a, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and other intestinal structures. What is important, they have, they have the DNA, uh, they have the DNA and the, the nucleus and the, and the mitochondria to, 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 for them to still uh, continue with their function. Okay? So your sperm cell actually results from a maturing spermatids. Then how long would the sperm the process of spermatogenesis so take us around 64 to 72 days? Okay, here is the picture of your spermatogenesis. Okay, this is the seminiferous tubules. This is where your, uh, this is where your uh, sperm is being produced. So it will produce a stem cell known as your spermatogonia. Okay, so isa nito will divide into two, two daughter cells. Ito babalik siya as a stem cell. Yung isa lang ang at magdi-divide. So the first process, this is known as the mitosis, creating a two daughter cell. Para ting dito, we have the, here the process of meiosis where it, it will divide the, the nucleus. So what happens is that you you are going to create you are going to create uh you are going to create a uh, haploid lang siya with which it carries only 23 uh, instead of having 46 total 23 lang siya and the last one is the last chromosome is actually a uh, sex cell okay uh, a sex a uh, rather uh, sex chromosome which carries your x or either x or the y chromosome para ma-indicate ko yung sperm na yung carry magiging babae ba o magiging lalaki ba yung carry carry niya so they only carry one Okay, because your 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 sperm carries X and Y chromosomes, so naghati sila either one will go to the haploid, the Y and the other one the X, so dependent. But the female carries both X chromosomes, so when they mix with when they are paired paired up with your female chromosomes, which is the X all X, so kung naging X X, you will have a female baby, and you if you have an X Y, kung yung sperm nito magkito yung Y ang ikarga niya X Y, then you have a male baby. Okay, so ito yung process ng meiosis natin. The first one, creating two haploid, no? Uh, two, uh, two secondary sperma, ano, uh, primary spermatocytes. So, okay, so ito dito, they, we, they, they undergo the second one. So, magkaroon siya ng uh, uh, the, the spermatids. So, uh, ito na siya, uh, mag haploid na ito siya. But eventually, they start to mature in the process of spermiogenesis. Pero dahan-dahan muna, ito, Spermogenesis, hindi siya makatrabaho ng maayos kasi ang dami niyang baggage. They cannot travel 
um, when you say, if you want to travel, ano, para siyang hindi ka dapat backpackers ka lang para makarami ka mapunta at mabilis ang pag-travel mo. Ito siya hindi. Nagadala siya ng buong maleta niya, daladala niya yung kayo, makita mo parang may wings pa siya. But eventually, when they fall open during the, in this process, pinatanggal nila dito itong, itong cytoplasm ito. And so what is left is this, this one. This is already your mature, mature your mature sperm. So ito na, this is when, this is one, the one that's capable of uh, producing, uh, uh, impregnating the woman. So this one is the mature cell. So this is how the process goes. You mitosis, then meiosis twice, and then your spermiogenesis, and before they will become your mature, uh, mature uh, sperm. Okay? Spermatogenesis. So ito yung itsura natin. The only flagellated cell, and DNA is found on the head. So ito yung sabi ko, spiral ang arrangement ng natin. Okay? So, hormone production. The most important hormone of the testis is produced in the interstitial cell. Okay? That is your testosterone. Okay? So, what about this testosterone? We have learned it. I'm going to just go over it. It stimulates the reproductive organ development. Okay? Ito nga pa mature. So, you can compare the genitals of the child with that of the adult. It's totally different. Okay? They are the ones responsible for the sex drive. Okay? Sex drive is isang tao. They cause a secondary sex characteristic. Ano yun? Yung pagiging manly characteristic natin. Yung bosses, nagiging deep, nagiging mal malalim, okay? nagiging mabuo. Okay? And then there is more hair growth. Dati wala kang makilis ang dibdib mo. Ngayon, nagkakaroon ka ng hair sa dibdib. You develop also hair hanggang sa may chan. Then you develop the sumbol. What's the sumbol? We call that one, so, sumpay sa bulbol. No? Yung hair sa lalaki doon. And then, aakyat doon sa ano. So that is, uh, uh, binuang, no? Okay, so maraming the, the hair development, even your legs develop a lot of hair. Okay, and then you in uh, others enlargement of the skeletal muscles and thickening of the bones. That's why you you the bones is up sometimes used to di, uh, distinguish whether that bone is owned by a male or a female. Because especially on the skull, no. So tiniting nanyan siya. So because of this, the the the, uh, the presence of the testosterone hormone. Okay. So this is uh, how it will stimulate. So negative feedback, pag mataas ng shadow, it will send and stop producing. So they will, the anterior pituitary is going to, to the releasing hormone coming from the hypothalamus to stimulate the anterior pituitary to produce your follicle stimulating hormone as well as the luteinizing hormone. And then that, that will stimulate your, your, your sperm production for the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone for your uh, testosterone production. Okay? Ang slides natin medyo nagkagulo. I'll, Okay? Ma, parang hinalo itong ibang slides na ano. I asked for this one because what I have is I lost my copy. Kaya naging ako. Ito yung itong binigay sa akin. Sige lang. Nag, naghalo siya. So this is the picture of your, this is the perineum, no? Perineum natin ng, ng lalaki. That's the, that's the same as the perineum, the perineal area siya before the anus. Okay? So this is the lateral view. So we have mentioned all of these structures, the external organs, the internal structures. Okay, I'll just go over those that is not mentioned a while ago. So the penis is the main organ of population and at the same time the urination. So it has a shaft, the glass penis, the enlarged. And the glass penis, by the way, is equivalent to the clitoris of the female. Why? Because it contains a lot of nerve endings. If you stimulate, that one is going to stimulate erection. Okay, so that's why it's very sensitive. It's the most sensitive part. And the foreskin or the prefuse, is a retractable skin. Nare-retract yan siya. Ito yung sinasabing palos. Mapalos na siya. Ma-retract mo siya. Kaya that's the sign na pwede na siyang ituli kasi palos na. Bakit palos, ma'am? Yung hindi na siya dikit masyado doon sa, sa glance penis. Kasi pag dikit siya, mahabi. Later on, pag, pag ano, pag, that's why minsan gina-retract gina namin, yung nilagyan namin ng, uh, ng forceps para na maghiwalay. Pero luoy. That's why kapag ano, we will delay, wag muna, wag muna lang muna ipatuli kasi hindi pa siya palos. Okay? Okay, so that's uh, that's the foreskin. Pag hindi siya ma-retract, hindi siya papalos, dikit na dikit siya even hanggang adult. So we call that one phimosis. Dikit na dikit siya. Okay? And then the urinary meatus is the opening. Sa dulo ng ano, sa pinakatuktok talaga ng iyong, ng, ng, ng iyong glass penis, sa center portion, that is your, the opening of your uh, urethra. That's the terminal end of your urethra known as the ure urethral meatus. The snake-like opening at the tip, and they serve, serve as a passage for both the semen and the urine. So, we have been here, some abnormalities related to that one. Dapat, andito siya sa tuktok, ito dito sa may arrow ko, dyan. Pero hindi, meron parang mga abnormalities. 
the death descent is a normal, that's a rare type of malformation wherein the opening is not here. So kung magpasilit kayo, hindi diretso ang silit na kundi epispadjas is the one on top, nasa ibabaw siya. This is the epispadjas kung nasa taas. Hypospadjas is nasa ilalim. Okay? Hypospadjas is on the anterior, uh, maliktad ito, epispadjas is a rare type. Dapat ito yung nasa, nasa, uh, Ibabaw. And then hypospadias is nasa ilalim. Okay? Ibabaw. Hypo is nasa ilalim. Siya, baliktad siya. So, ito yung epispadias. Ito yung hypospadias natin sa ilalim ng open. Okay? Ito yung nangyayari. That's the norm normal. Ito, hypos nasa ilalim. Epis nasa ibabaw. So, dapat ito yung normal. Diyan siya dapat maglabas. That is the difference uh, with this one. Okay? The scrotum. Si darker color, this color, uh, darker color than the rest of the body, wrinkled, mention, mention siyang pointing hair. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi natin, but darkest mass relaxes. Okay? If it's too, if too cold, and then a, it will pull the closer to the body. Spermatogenesis, they are affected, affected by extremes of temperature. Okay? But, but the testosterone production is not affected. Only the sperm production of that part of the testis is affected. When you talk about extremes of temperature, okay? So the sperm is kawawa. Okay, so uh, we have been here your testis, oval shape, abdominal. Ito, I would like to mention this part. Yung, yung scrotum natin, normally empty yan siya. Yung scrotum na lalaki, empty yan siya bago pa nilabas si baby. Uh, ba bago mag 28 weeks ng pagbubuntis. Okay? But about 28 weeks, that means to say 7 months yan siya. Dapat may makapana doon. This is actually one of the, the parts that's being assessed by the doctors. No? The, this is the, uh, the portion that is being assessed by the doctors para malaman nila kung, kung ang, uh, what do you call this, kung ang, uh, what do you call, uh, maturity, to test for maturity. Gina, ginakumot na nilang ang scrotum ng babies para malaman kung mature. Because if the, the, the testis did not descend, ibig sabihin sa loob lang siya ng katawan ng, ng sa torso, ng, ng sa may pelvic cavity ng, ng lalaki, mainit doon. So, magiging ang result niyan, they will become, uh, they will become uh, infertile. Okay? And the case of your uh, undescended testis, hindi mo maba doon sa scrotum is known as cryptorchidism. Okay, so this the, the cases of the cryptorchidism will lead to infertility later on. Okay, so what is the function? We all know that's for hormone production and for spermato, uh, spermatogenesis. Okay, but if this one begins during puberty and uh, continue until the old age. In fact, until the old age, that's why you would hear people who are still marrying and you still bear, bear children even at the age of 70s and 80s because they are still able. It's just that in terms of erection, less, less erection, but the thing is they're still able to produce. 